Hello, I'm Atala Foster with the campus news section asking students around campus about how they commute to school, whether it be by public transportation or by car. So, how do you commute to school? I drive from Rancho Cordova. Okay, and how does that work out for you? Like, what are the pros and cons of coming to school with driving? Well, I get to come and leave as I choose, so there's a lot of freedom in that. The cons, parking, it's $150 for a parking pass. Uh, finding a parking space, as you know, if you come around noon, um, you'll end up parking out in the boondocks, so you kind of want to make it early. Um, other than that, I would definitely choose it over public transportation. Have you ever done public transportation? Yeah. How did that work out for you? Um, I haven't done it to this campus in specific, so I, I, I can't say I have that experience. But, I mean, for me, it's just coming and going as I please. You know, I get to listen to the radio, comfort of my own car. If I want to drive somewhere else, I can do it really easily. Um, I recently just got a new car, so gas was a pain. I had a Jeep Cherokee, which uh, was a gas guzzler. So that was hurting my pocket a lot. But now I have a Honda CRV, which really helps. All right, how do you commute to school? I drive. And how does that work out for you? Like, what are like the pros and cons of driving to school? Um, the pros, I get to sleep in. <laughs> and the cons, I waste gas money and have to buy a parking permit every semester. That's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ha have you tried uh, public transportation at all? Yeah, I did the bus thing, but like I said, I like to sleep in. So <laughs> <laughs> that really doesn't Besides work. Besides sleeping in, uh, what are some other like aspects of? Uh, public transportation like the pros and cons of that maybe public transportation is yeah. free because we get the little bus pass from school mm -hmm. so it's free and that's about it <laughs> uh, how do you transport to school every day um i mostly drive and how is driving beneficial to coming to our commuter school um it's helpful the only bad part is parking trying to find a parking space like if you have a class at like noon which I typically take classes from like noon to three it's really hard to find a parking spot Monday through Thursday. Have you ever tried to take uh do you live closer to this campus? Um yeah I'm about 20 minutes away 15 20 minutes away. Have you ever tried to take um like public transportation? In yes. Canada? And how's that how's that worked out for you? Um I like it except for the buses are kind of crowded like it's helpful because I don't have to find a parking space but I, you know, like, I don't get home, you know, I don't get home as fast as I normally would. If I drive, you know, it takes like 15, 20 minutes to get home. If I take the bus, I might not get home for 45 minutes to an hour. Do you know, what are the pros and cons you could think of that could come with public transportation? Pros is save a lot of money uh, from not using gas. Uh, cons would be the time thing, like you're running out of schedule. I, I guess just a, the choice if you want to leave or come to school. That would be the I think that's it.